A 2022 matchup is forming in the race for United States Senate. We expect that longtime Democratic Senator Patty Murray will try to defend her seat, but she has her first serious challenger. A Republican from Pasco named Tiffany Smiley has launched her campaign, building on her experience advocating for her husband who was injured in Iraq. From Scotty's experiences, Tiffany found her purpose to fight for every veteran and make sure they receive the respect, dignity, and benefits they've earned. And she would take their fight all the way to the White House. I spoke with Tiffany Smiley about her campaign and about the challenges ahead in running as a Republican in Washington state. This is a challenging time politically. It's a divisive time politically. How have you prepared yourself as a Republican running in Washington for some of those uh, not so pleasant sides of politics? Look, I'm, I'm here to work with people. If I've learned anything in my 16 years is that you're not gonna do it alone. You know, I'm about addition. I'm not about subtracting and dividing because that does not move the needle forward. So I, I am here poised, ready to fight, um, ready to come together with families that need, that want change. Career politicians are not in our future. It's not what is going to take us in the future. And, and if we look at you know, what all of us have experienced with the global pandemic, um, people are struggling. There's been a shift. There's been a shift. And people, we're having to relook at our policies and how they directly affect people. And, and we need leaders, not politicians, to step up into that role. Uh, you do know, and I'm sure you're told, it is very hard to win statewide office as a Republican, correct? Yes, but I've never backed down from a fight. People told me, you know, I'll never forget the doctor at Walter Reed Army Medical Center. He, he looked at me and he said, Mrs. Smiley, I don't think you understand. Your husband has no eyes. He will never see again. There's never been someone to continue service to our country blind. And he pushed the paperwork in front of me and said, sign the paperwork. And I said, no. I was able to build a coalition and a team around me. I shared my idea. I thought Scotty should be the one to make that decision and be able to fully recover, to have all the resources and access that I believed he deserved. Um, built a team around me. They said, we agree with you. And, and we were able to win that battle. So look, I, I want to talk to people. We have immense talent here in Washington State um, that can solve problems. If we come together and stop talking past each other and start working together to build a better future, It'll be amazing what we can accomplish here in Washington state. Uh, one of the strategies of the Democratic Party in our state, uh, which has been true for the last couple of years, is they really believe, and it is a strategy of theirs, it's very clear, they really believe that if they can tie Republican candidates to former President Donald Trump, that it is a death sentence for those candidates. Um, the Democrat, have you seen what the state Democratic Party put out? Have you seen their statement yet? I have not, but someone did alert me to it. <laughs> okay, well, let me read part of it to you. Uh, and uh, true to playbook, uh, this is what they're trying to do with you. Um, they said, in part, the last person we need representing us is a Trump-supporting conservative who will put Mitch McConnell and extreme Republican leaders ahead of the people of Washington State. Uh, what is your response to that? Look, I went and met with President Trump to fight for reform for all military families. I didn't, it didn't matter if they are Democrat, Republican, Independent. I was fighting for all of them. So if you want to tie me to Trump for fighting for military families, go ahead. I would meet with anyone. I've met with Senator Patty Murray on caregiver reform. I met I, with Secretary Shulkin. I still talk to him today and work in, in, in his policy vet center. So uh, if anything it shows I can work together with others, to get the mission done, to, to accomplish the greater good. Like I said, I'm, a, I'm about adding. I'm not about dividing and subtracting. So if they want to tie me to Trump for making a change for disabled veterans and their families, go ahead. We might get back to the Trump subject in a moment, but you brought up um, Senator Patty Murray, and you two have worked together um, in the past. And I was curious about that because you had put out you know, a couple statements announcing your candidacy uh, and suggested that the senator is failing Washington families and that she needs to be held accountable. But I mean, there are times in the not too distant past that you praised her. I was looking at two uh, Facebook posts in particular, just from 2018. One of them is you standing next to a smiling Senator Murray, 
you know, you said, I had a wonderful meeting with Senator Murray. Her effort to support caregivers is truly remarkable. In another one around the same time frame, you posted a speech of hers and said, I was honored to hear Senator Patty Murray use my story to advocate for VA caregivers, urged people to share her message. That doesn't sound to me like a politician you think is failing families. It sounds to me like a politician you think is helping families. Look, I'll work with anyone that wants to improve the lives of caregivers in our country and our military families. I will promote that far and wide. And I think it shows the message of who I am, right? That it's about the greater good. It's not about internal partisan politics. That's not the future of our country. She's a career politician and our country wasn't founded on that. You know, in the military, it's one of the most trusted institutions in the world. And our generals and colonels don't sit in positions for 30 years. There's a reason for that. So she's been focused on the wrong Washington. She is failing our families here, propping up a, a failed uh, health care, increased taxes and government overreach and spending. It's adding to the national debt, which is a national security issue for our families. That's going on our children's credit card credit card bill. And I fight every day. I look at my boys and I want them, I want them to have a country in five, 10 years that is worth losing their eyesight for. So you better believe I will work with anyone to improve the lives of our military families, veterans and caregivers. And we have both of our senators have been in their posts for a long uh, period of time, Senator Patty Murray for longer than Maria Cantwell. Um, but we hear from a lot of candidates who come in and say, you know, we need to get rid of career politicians. Are you making any sort of commitment uh, as part of this race that you'll only serve so many terms if elected? Hey, look, I will serve as long as the people vote me in and I will be their representative and I want them to hold me accountable. I will be their voice. I want to talk to them and look, Patty Murray's in Washington, D.C. I'm here every day talking to families who are struggling, who are fighting homelessness, increased crime rates, drug addiction, poverty. These problems need solutions. And throwing money at them, throwing bureaucratic government programs at them that spends billions of our taxpayer dollars with little actual help going down to the people in need is not the solution for the future. You know, you will have to be in D.C. quite a bit if you are a senator. I'll go vote and I'll stand up. I will make Washington, D.C. work for all of Washington State. And you better believe when I get back in Washington State, I will be meeting with my people. No one's a career politician until they keep getting elected and become a career politician. Uh, great to have Tiffany Smiley on, though, you know, and she was born in Pasco. And I think, you know, more so we need some of those voices in politics that come from the other side of the Cascades, um, because, you know, sometimes it's hard to get the pulse on uh, the differences between that side of the state and this side of the state. Uh, by the way, you can hear my unedited interview with Tiffany Smiley, hear a little bit more about her background and her story that led her into this race coming up tomorrow on the Divide podcast. If you haven't downloaded it and subscribed to it already, why not? Lots of good stuff. We post new episodes every single Monday, so please make sure to do that.